So guys, the point of this video is to show that we have 3D as well on the MVR Ascend. And um, as per the previous video, we're still using the same text. So we've got the uh, TP-Link router. So we still have the 4 megabyte broadband. The only difference is that I left the laptop at home. So I've got the PC on the floor there uh, That's uh, that we're running the game off at the moment. And we're using a program called Tridef to give you side-by-side -side split screen images. And as you can see, uh, the sensor is head tracking. So this will be on the back of your H1 headset, of course. And we'll just get it streaming on the phone over there. And it's as simple as selecting this Moonlight app, and we obviously set it up before. And just resume the session where the session on in the background. And there you go. Side by side images. One image for each eye. And then your brain puts it together and gives you 3D depth perception. So there you are. The latency, as you can see, is pretty low. You remember from our last video that it was 20ms. You can see I'm moving the sensor in this little kind of arc. Maybe on that side. So there you go. That's the MVR Ascend with uh, 3D, side by side 3D. Now you're probably going to be wondering, well, you know, not wondering, saying to me, you can do this on the HTC Vive, you can do this on the Oculus Rift, and you're right, you can do this on those machines. Um, however, you're doing it at five times the cost because. If you remember, uh, I mentioned before that the Kickstarter uh, price for the PC PS4 version of the MVR Ascend is £129 and you all know how much it costs to purchase a uh, Oculus Rift and obviously the associated powerful PC required to run it. Um, and I know you're all going to say, well, you know, the Rift provides you with other experiences and it does. It has a much more immersive and in-depth 3D experience it can provide. And if you want to purchase the Rift for those experiences and those sort of uh, mini games and experiences they can provide you, then that's what you'd buy it for, and you absolutely should. Uh, but if you are looking to play um, PC games in uh, 3D or 2D, uh, then it's a lot more inexpensive using our system to do the same thing that the Rift would be able to do right now. Uh, without needing you know a spare room for the Vive for example and importantly as well as being affordable we're tether free we're not plugged into here's the whole thing okay there's a controller there's a sensor and obviously at the moment we've got a wire connecting to this uh, translation chip that would be inside flat in the final version as you know so we're tether free you can be a couple of meters away from your machine wherever your Wi-Fi signal reaches as long as it's a strong signal you can play there um, you can do a 360 degree turn and you're not gonna get trapped in a wire you know you don't need someone to hold a, wi uh, a wire for you while you're playing a game which I think it'll probably be the case for the Rift, Rift and the Vive and the PSVR uh, you can play this by yourself if you wanted to so there you go that's uh, 3D on the HTC, uh, on the HTC Vive, sorry, <laughs> that's 3D on the MVR Ascend, um, and it's as simple as what we just showed you. 